How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, DIYs, crafts, mixed media, healthy mail and hauls, and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of that sounds appealing to you folks, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. So without further ado, I have a haul from AliExpress and from eBay. So let's get started, shall we? And first, I think I will show you these. And this is just basically confetti. And they are rose gold stars. And I got two different sizes of the rose gold stars, as you can see. And I got two little pouches of those. And then I got two pouches each of the small and the large rose gold i mean silver stars um if it'll focus they are very sparkly so there you have it and these come in handy when you're making shakers or just decorating your planner or um one little word or any kind of craft you can just glue these on very very fun stickers so this was a freebie that was included it says love love and it's a heart where you love somebody a whole lot and you know that person loves you that's the most beautiful place in the world so that was sweet it says i love you for you happy every day so you can just make a little card from that and that was a freebie and then this was also a freebie which when i opened the package i sliced it in half <laughs> and on accident i've never done something like that before but i'm still gonna use it no problem um and these are washi stickers very cute so those will definitely come in handy and get used and then I got two of these, and these are calendar stickers. So I thought they were very interesting. And so you can put 2020, the days of the week, and then they're all different configurations of these. So, because obviously. The first isn't always on a Monday or whatever, or a Sunday, however you start your calendar. So they have different configurations of how you can use these. So I thought that would be fun. Very inexpensive. And then I have these, which are also washi stickers. I'm not going to take them out. Um, but these are your, like, makeup and... I use these. I have these little pearls. That's what, yeah, that's what they look like. Those powder pearls. I'll show you. I have several of them because it's my favorite. They're made by Guerlain. I'll just show you one that's convenient. Right here, made by Guerlain. And it just comes open like that. And they smell beautiful. So it's face powder. I love this. This is my favorite kind. So I have backups of these. Let's say one, two, three. They are pricey, but. They are worth it because, and this just was one of those, this is called Crazy Pearls, so it has a black package, but I have the traditional silver packages, two of those, and they come in various hues, so you can pick whatever you like, but I have my backups up here in my studio in a container store drawer, so that's what those remind me of and these are stickers for my planners like i said 
cards. I think they're so cute. So it has, I think, lipstick and shoes and nail polish and just all different kinds of stickers. And they were very inexpensive off of AliExpress, which I'm totally into. <laughs> okay. Now some of these are loose because... Let me just pour them all out so I can show you. Okay. They all did come in a bag, but a couple of the bags weren't resealable. So let me get these together and then I'll show you. Okay, guys. So, first and foremost, I got these and I put them in this bag that belonged to something else. And these are, like, flat backs and they are... Um, a creamy off-white color flower so these are perfect for putting in the center if you make felt flowers or whatever kind of craft that you're making so got those and then I these came in one bag but I put them in two because it wasn't a zip bag these are pink the pink version of those very fun and then these are all the charms that I got and all of this is off Aliexpress and this was a freebie, and then this was a freebie, this pin. So it comes apart like that. Very cute. And then these are all the charms that I got. So as you can see, right there, that's where you would attach it. And they're pink flowers, so I thought those were very sweet. And they come in a 10-pack. And then this is like a princess palace. Very cute. I'm sure you guys have at least seen some of these around. And then I got, I have a Singer sewing machine. It's a black one. And I bought it off of a gentleman locally here in Alexandria several years ago who refurbished them. So this is reminiscent of that, but it's in pink. And it's a sewing machine charm. So I thought that was very sweet. And then these three are the same. And this one is a pearl and a lavender bow charm. And the back is gold plated. So I have this same rendition in lavender and in pink. And then in blue, baby blue. So very sweet and these all came in a pack of 10 very inexpensive I highly recommend Aliexpress I mean it really doesn't take that long some some sellers send things faster than others but that goes the same for Amazon Etsy Aliex um, eBay etc so. and my favorite Disney movie is as always and always always and forever been Cinderella so of course I like the Cinderella palace in pink and then the carriage and that is a baby pink carriage charm very sweet and incidentally speaking of like on the same path of uh, princess palace is Disney so I have on I'm all ears it's the Mickey Mouse release from OPI several years back very cute color it's very sparkly and then I got these acorns I had gingerbread in my cart rose gold ones and they sold out so I didn't get them so that's a bummer. They had gold and silver ones, but I didn't want those. And then last but not least, on the charms, I have these cute bows. And I got one 
set in pink and one in lavender. So there are the bows. Very precious. Very dainty. Really like them. So something like this is good to add onto your Hobonichi strings that come on your week's planners because they're small and dainty. So I'm going to attempt that again unless it gets too stringy. And then I'll just bail on that. <laughs> As it were. But yeah, they have all different kinds of charms and beads. Like the beads I bought, the disco balls, whew, those were pricey. But the charms were very inexpensive comparing to Hobby Lobby and uh, Michael's and places like that. So that is why I went with AliExpress on these. So way more bang for your buck. All right. So, and last but not least, I will show you one last thing. Yay! And this is actually off of eBay. So it was a lot of three, and it was very inexpensive. So we'll go one by one. So all of these came off of the same lot. I think it was like you could, he had it priced to something and you could also make an offer, which is what I did. So I think I paid a total of, I want to say $12, something like that for all three stamp sets. So that was a good deal. All right. This is made by TS7 Mood Tape Transparent Stamp 7. And it's luggage and a trunk and some quill pens. And this just so happened to come in the set. This is not what I was after, but it's good that it has the quill pens, so for fountain pens. Buffs, as it were. So I think these are cute. And then we have this set. And this is made by Survival's Luggage well, it's called Survival's Luggage Dug Diary by Hua Yang He Feng. I think that's Chinese. Because Japanese is written up and down. That's how you read Japanese. Because Karu, the lady who taught me how to cook, was Japanese, so I know. Because she'd always be reading her paper in Japanese, so. Anyway. Aren't these so sweet? So you have the quill pen by itself and then the quill pen in the fountain pen ink. You have a dip pen there and a pen and a pen, fountain pen, squiggly lines, more squiggly lines, and then this one, and then ink splotches. So I think this is a fun set. And then this one. This is what I was after. These right here remind me of one of my favorite brands of ink. I love Diamine ink and um, Jackie's Airbin. Those are my two favorite brands um, so far. So that reminds me, is reminiscent of those bottle, bottles. So it's all different kinds of fountain pen ink jars so I thought that was super sweet I may or may not use this it just depends um setting up my um ink swatches we'll see we'll see how that pans out but I've already I'll just show you I made this initially for the stamps <clears throat> that I use the most and then I made a separate one specifically with these stamps in mind and I just used glitter 
and I hung it on one of these rings and I need to hang this up so I can just hang this on my pen organizer because it's handy and so I just laminated some um, glitter and I used cards for these like the card size laminator and I made one two three four five six more and I have six on this one I think no I have four no one two three four five because these are my most used ones so I did that and then I made this facing this way these hang oops from the side as you can see and these hang long ways and I thought that would help me differentiate which ones are which quickly in that way and that's why I did it that's the only reason I did it that way um so that way when I go to do my swatches for my fountain pens because I'm heavy into that I've oh, like I said this is my first fountain pen that I ever got for my parents when I was like seven it has an italic nib on it my favorite color used to be red so they got me a red one and my little sister an orange one and my little sister and I we are born on the exact same day but two years apart so I'm older than her by two years but we have the same birthday we have the same birthmark <laughs> so there's that little ditty but anyway yeah so this is convenient for stamping if you like to stamp a lot and you like to use your fountain pen ink and I thought I would do swatches on this so we'll see so I'm super actually excited about that it's funny how the progression of things run um, and making things more convenient for yourself and you know just doing different things and seeing what works and what doesn't and then finding your way so it's fun to see that over the years how things like that progress but Anyway, that is my haul, and if you liked what you saw and you enjoyed this video, I hope that you do consider subscribing to my channel, and I hope you give me a thumbs up. All right, thank you ever so kindly for watching. Peace out.